Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash tales from tech support. In today's episode, why following security protocols is an amazing concept that protects your company. The finale. I'm ready to walk. But it's heavy. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Why following security protocols is an amazing concept that protects your company. The finale. So this post takes places over a few months. The very first thing that happened was my boss's 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 boss wanted a full report on what happened and typed up printed in triplicate. This report would also be handed to the FTC. They also wanted a report typed up for the police when they came a knocking. So I did the only thing I could think of to do and delegated the parts one could delegate, and then compiled them into nice neat reports with two cover sheets. First cover sheet said IRS investigation at the top. At the bottom it said. Rip off this sheet. The police were not happy about that. I was also told to compile all loans deleted out of the system that were stolen by the bad eggs. This also included pulling the backups from the server for the remote wipes of their phones and sending four hard drives into a lab for bit shifting the data back. For users thought that doing the full Win 10 reset on their laptops would wipe the data permanently. Two didn't even do the full reset just the one that keeps personal data and reinstalls all programs. The important and exciting parts of the story happened two weeks before the FTC person would come to question us. Thursday of the week in question, the server admins were writing scripts to strip all access to the branch in question. I was working with the accounts team to make sure all emails were being purged and archived. All in all a boring day, but I could not wait for Friday. The day where all of my dreams would come true. What made it all the more sweet was the fact that every loan officer in this branch had shared their AD creds with their underlings and seriously violated security policies to the point of scorched earth. Dollar me equals Garak, because it totally was. Dollar hit equals head of IT. Dollar HHR equals head of HR. Dollar L equals legal. Dollar BM equals branch manager. Dollar SU1-3 equals self-important users. It must have been a normal day for them. They were all sitting pretty with the knowledge that everything would be sorted out this day. Everyone was gathered in the common room of the branch. This one was a repurposed house after the town rezoned the area for commercial. It made for a quaint little branch and definitely delivered a hometown feeling. Something told me this feeling would soon be shattered for the occupants inside. The doors opened and one by one we filed into a group of people clearly stunned by size of the entourage coming in the door. There were only two chairs available so some of the underlings stood up and allowed us to sit down. Dollar HHR I want to thank you all for making yourselves available this evening. As you know we have been dealing with a massive breach caused by several ELOs in this branch. You have all been unable to work for the last two weeks and have basically been punching the clock, as it were, because we required your presence. What myself and Dollarell are here to inform you of is that this branch is being shuttered. She let that sink in for a moment. Dollar HHR as many of you know, your branch has a very high turnover right for LOAs, and this has created animosity amongst former employees. This is made doubly worse by the fact that you share all credentials with your users. When you let people go, you would call the service lines available to you and lie so that IT would reset your passwords back to the same thing. Dollar me as I indicated on the phone with several of you, this does nothing for security. Yes some devices that are logged in will be prompted to log back in, but what you failed to take into consideration was the fact that all the user had to do was simply put your password back in. And I tried to help you. I gave you options on the phone but alas you were unwilling to help yourselves. Dollar BM we have signed contract. Dollar all you mean these signed contracts? Slides the exact one the branch manager signed across the table. I have placed sticky notes on the relevant sections for you for you convenience. It took all of five minutes for Dollar BM to read the important bits and to realize he was screwed. He leaned back in his chair and rubs his eyes. 
The scared and stunned looks on all the underlings' faces were palpable. I had to fight hard to suppress a smile. Dollar SU1 well that just means we will go back to former company and work the way we used to before our company bought us. Dollar SU2 yeah I have never really been happy with our company anyways. Dollar SU3 I mean the increase in business was nice, but I can do with more money for me per loan. A few concerned looks were exchanged. Dollar hit currently we are going to have to ask you to hand over all mobile devices and our company provided assets so we can remove our data off of them. All loans you are currently working on are property of our company and are forfeit. Dollar SU1 that is not fair. Dollar ME what is or is not fair here no longer concerns you. I will take the phone here and perform the scrubbing of company data here. Dollar hit I will handle scrubbing company data off of PCs and other devices. Dollar SU3 you are not going to get my phone so you can browse through my pictures. Dollar me you may watch me work or you may lose your data. Those are your only choices. Dollar BM I still do not see why we would lose our loans. Dollar HR in other circumstances. If one of the LOs were terminated, would you not assign someone to take over their loans? Those loans are property of our company and as such no longer are yours to work on. In fact those loans were closed weeks ago when this all started. Since the security violation was the fault of this office, you forfeit any compensation as a result. The bickering continued until all phone and devices had been scrubbed. Dollar me so since you all caused me so much headache over this month, I decided to just say screw it and inform you of this myself. You will not be returning to old company as old company was purchased by our company. In fact, this very building is the property of our company. And since you were all terminated, you have until the end of the day to clean out your things. I personally wanted to give you three minutes, but I do not make those decisions. Points to HR, they do. Dollar BM and Dollar SU1 through Dollar SU3 all spoke up and started to bicker with me over it until legal shut them down by showing the contracts. Dollar me all of you look at me as if I were the bad guy. What you failed to consider here is my job title. Strip away supervisor, team lead, lead and analyst what do you get? IT support. As in I am here to support you. When that phone rings I am your support staff. I am here to support you. I do not want to be here today in the rural Texas suburbs kicking you out of, air quotes, your building. I want to be at my desk drinking coffee and pretending to work while browsing Reading. Dollar me I mean working on legitimate issues. None of them took the time to consider that I am trying to help you. You saw me as that annoying guy worried about useless rules and shooed me away. If you had listened to me, had worked with me regarding this, we could have handled this crisis without needing to terminate your employment. But instead all of you are here. With that sinking feeling in your stomachs as you stare at my stoic unfeeling face. I do not want to be here today. I want to be at work or at home, not ruining the lives of so many individuals. The rules exist for a reason and you broke them. Now you get to pay the consequences. At that moment my fiancé grabbed my shoulder. Dollar fiancé you have messed up dreams. I got up out of bed and went to work feeling unusually chipper, as at least some of the events in my dreams would have played that day. Unfortunately those events did not happen. My boss came over to my desk with a big grin on his face. Dollar hit so you probably don't want to hear this. But we already handled the branch shuffling of that problem branch. A skinking feeling happened in my stomach. Dollar me I literally wrote a speech for this. Dollar hit do you see why we would not let you go? A few months later, and I am sitting in some government building wearing a suit and tie as I wait my turn to give what I have to some federal investigator who is very good at his job. For hours of waiting in a hall being told not to get on my phone and just stare at a wall when I finally walked in. I laid the documents which no longer said IRS investigation on the desk and the guy looked at me. Dollard man raise your right hand. Waits, do you swear under penalty of perjury that the documents? Blah blah. Dollar me I do. Dollard man you may leave. Dollar me, clearly shocked. Well. That's it? 
Dollard man welcome to government bureaucracy. It's asterisk CKs. I walked out of the door clearly pissed that I had to stick around for four more hours in case they needed me for questioning. They didn't. The rest of the story is not very exciting. Some popal faced criminal prosecution, more faced civil action, and the company received several fines from the FTC for its failings. The CEO of the company took full responsibility and received small penalties himself. The end. I'm ready to walk. This just happened a couple hours ago. First call of the morning at 7 a.m. Me, greets caller with standard greeting, gets her name, ask how I can help her. User, quite angrily, so, you, IT department, just gave me my new laptop yesterday, and I was working in the office. It was able to connect to the internet with no problems. Now, I'm working from home today, and it's not connecting to the internet at all. I have a Teams meeting at 8, and I don't have time for this BS. If you don't stop giving me crap, that doesn't work, I'm walking. I'm ready to go. I need you to get me online. Me, looks at clock, it's 7.01. Think, it's too early for this nonsense. I glance longingly at the Keurig behind me with my coffee cup waiting patiently for me to press the button. I speak to her calmly the whole time. All right, so when you were in the office yesterday, were you connected to the internet using an ethernet cable, a docking station, or were you using Wi-Fi? User, huffing, I was using Wi-Fi of course. I don't use a docking station, I just plug it into the wall. Me so, when you check your Wi-Fi connections, do you see your home network at all? User, silence for a moment, then a lot more calmly, Wi-Fi connections? How do I find that? Me, groaning inwardly. Still calmly, do you see the time on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen? User, yes, what does that have to do with anything? Me, pleasantly, look just to the left of that. There's an icon for your volume, right? User, yes, but... Me, still pleasantly, and just to the left of that, do you see curved lines pointing to the left, or even a globe? User, Confused, I see a globe thing, but what does that have to do with getting me connected? Me, click on the globe, which is your network connections. User, why can't you remote in and just do this for me? Me, because you have to be online for me to be able to do that, and right now, you're not connected to the internet. Please click on the globe. User, heavy sigh, okay. Now I see network connections. Excitedly, oh look. There's my home network. Do I click on that? Me, trying not to laugh, yes. Please click on it. You will also need your Wi-Fi password. Do you know it? User, it's not asking for a password. It's asking for a security key. Me, your password is your security key. Please type in your Wi-Fi password into the security key box. User, clickety, OK, it says I'm connected and secured. Me, please open a browser and go to a web page that isn't run by company. I just want to make sure your connection works. User, I'm connecting to the VPN first. Me, if you try to connect to the VPN without internet, it won't work. This is just one way to make sure it will work. User, clickety, OK, internet works. Should I connect to the VPN now? Me, yes, go on and connect to the VPN, so we can make sure that works for you. User, okay, I'm in. Thank you for your patience with me. If you can't tell, I'm such a techno noob, and I know nothing about technology. I just want it to work. Me, it's alright. I'm glad I was able to help. Closes out ticket and presses button on Keurig but it's heavy. Let me set the scene, it's 2016, I'm the lone IT guy for a beer distributor, I have just upgraded our sales team from Toughbooks to mini iPads. I found that OtterBox was the best case to keep the iPads protected, they were bulky, but so much better than the Toughbook bricks they were carrying all day. I received a call from one of the salesmen, let's call him Matt, because that's his name. 
Me, IT, this is BamBam67. Matt, hey, so my iPad screen is cracked. Me, oh no, luckily I have a spare, if you can drop it off I can get it repaired and get it back to you. Matt, I'll drop it off at lunch, how long will it take? Me, once I have it I'll drive it over to the repair shop and it's usually done by the next day. Matt, sounds great, thanks. I found his iPad on my desk after lunch and I take it in, have it repaired and delivered back to Matt. Almost exactly one month later. Me, IT, can I help you? Matt, hey, so I cracked my screen again. Me, again? Oh man, you haven't had much luck with that thing. Drop it off and we'll do the repair again. I don't have any extra iPads right now, but I have a tough book you can use for the day. Matt. Sounding disappointed. Me, what's wrong? Matt, those tough books are so heavy. Me, sorry, I don't have anything else available right now. Matt, alright, I can handle it for a day. I came back from lunch in his iPad, this time without the case is on my desk. Me, he Matt, I got your iPad, where'd the case? Matt, oh, I was just trying to make it easier for you to repair and took it off for you. Me, I appreciate that, but next time I don't mind doing it just to be sure the case is on correctly or hasn't been damaged. Since this is your second cracked screen I may need to contact Otterbox on how to better protect our iPads. Matt, okay, no problem, thanks for fixing it. I drive it to the repair shop, pick it up the next day, Matt picks it up, etc. One month later. Me, IT. Matt's supervisor, hey, could you give Matt a call? He's having issues with his iPad. I just had to put in his latest order for him. Me, I'll call him right now. Call Dash. Me, hey Matt, what the trouble? Matt, I can't get into the internet. And I have another crack on my screen, I put some tape on it, it was cutting my finger. Me, did you drop it? Matt, it fell off the counter at the client's grocery store. At this point, and you're probably tracking with me, I put two and two together and ask this question. Me, the iPad case should protect any small drops and it covers the screen, it shouldn't be cutting you, did you take your case off? Matt, yeah, with the case on it's really heavy. Me, how long have you had it off? Matt, since we got them. Me, okay, trying to hold back frustration and anger, please drop it off in your case. I'll leave you a different iPad. It will have all your info, email, etc. This time leave the case on. Those cases are expensive, and they work really well. I'll call your supervisor back and let him know your current status. Matt, okay, sorry about that. I called his supervisor and told him the issue, and that he's had a repair each month for the past three months. Oh, I'll talk to him, sorry for the trouble. I left Matt an iPad with a battery that constantly needed charging, super glued the case together, and he had no more issues. When he called about the battery, I told him to charge it in between stops and said others had to do the same, they didn't. It was my passive-aggressive IT way of punishing him. Summary, cracks slash breaks iPad 3X in 3 months, took off the Otterbox case because it was too heavy. Repairs would have paid for brand new iPads.